Hi, this is Kathy with Rocks, Fossils, and Minerals Oh My. And I'm back, and a lot of people have asked me to show crystals. So, quartz crystal came to mind. <laughs> and so I'm going to show quartz crystal. I got a lot of it. I didn't realize I had this much. <laughs> but, we'll start with this one. It's a pretty little crystal. And you can see the growth patterns. See the growth patterns on the side there? And another crystal apparently grew up next to it. Where those lines are kind of broken. Or maybe that's just how it grew. Because it looks like it did that. It either was part of a cluster or terminated on top. Which means it ended its growth. Right there. That's my fingerprint. <laughs> it's a pretty one. And then some of them you get are like this. They're not too clear, kind of milky, but just the fact that this bad boy was that long and that big is pretty cool looking. And sometimes you can get them, they're called singing crystals. These really aren't it, but it has that glassy kind of sound when you put them together and the singing crystals resonate even more. And um, this is a pretty one. And if I'm not mistaken, this one was part of a cluster that I bought from a young gentleman that I don't think had been shipping very much. And he shipped it in a bag with bubble wrap and it broke to pieces. So it's got in, you can see there it looks pink. Well, the whole crystal on the outside has kind of a coating of that pink naturally but under the camera it looks more like an iron stain look at that how that terminated right there or maybe a, yeah that was the part where the other crystal broke off of it here's more of those pieces that one totally looks like rust on the end but it's a pretty little piece maybe you can see the pink more in this but no under the camera it looks more iron stain look how that ends it's so pretty i just couldn't send them back even though they broke <laughs> they were still beautiful i cried though because it's such a beautiful formation such a beautiful cluster and after all those years and years and years and years of growing took one time through the mail kill it <laughs> but it's still pretty with the pieces i found and then there's some pretty unique little formation there and it is just grown sideways and up and everywhere see how it had kind of a crack there and kind of stopped growing or growing into each other somehow I think it grew into itself because this is a lip Let's see where the other one kind of grew out Maybe its growth got interrupted somehow. Who knows? And there's the back side of it. It's just beautiful. But I've had some requests for crystals. So I thought, what the heck? Let's do crystals. Look at that beautiful window. And when they're really clear like this, and of course this was not clear all the way down, they're called water clear. Because like you can see all the way through them. This one is, but then again it isn't, so it grew against other crystals, and there's a baby sticking out. They're called riders, but I call them babies. <laughs> Everyone stands up pretty nice. Here's another little guy. The top terminated, but it got, when it got pulled out, it probably came off from another crystal in it. It's got a whole bunch of pretty little riders on the bottom. See how that one kind of grew inside of that one? It's just pretty neat how these things grow every which way they can. Oh, wait, did you see the rainbow? Oh, yeah. A lot of times when crystals fracture on the inside, not so much on the outside, but the inside, you get rainbows 
some of the fracture and the light hitting the fractures. It's so pretty. It's always fun when you can find a rainbow. Some people buy them specifically because they have rainbows. And look at the wild growth on this one. To the left, to the right, down, up to the sides. The little ones at the end were trying to grow up. Maybe that's pretty much a better depiction. One grew down, one grew up. They grew out. Little riders and babies all over that one. And then some of them have like a they're kind of dull on the outside, probably from weathering. And so they're not so clear, but they are still beautiful in their own right. And there's a rainbow you can see kind of in there. Right there. Remember, this is a show and tell. I'm not a gemologist or a geologist, but I like them. Let's see what that is. Oh, just a little bit of dirt on the inside. Hmm. Oh, maybe you can see all the way through. How interesting. Then you have growths like this. It's called tabular. It's kind of like a tab. It's wider and flatter. And look how it ended here. That is the same crystal. Ended in two. <laughs> Why does that? I don't know, but it's pretty. Started off big boy on here and ended down there in two. Pretty interesting. The other one, something got broke off there. And then this one's running right alongside of it growing. It's a pretty piece. Did I show that one already? <laughs> it may look similar. It's got some of the tabular pieces on the end and a whole bunch of growth off to the side and a big fat one in the middle and a little baby growing underneath it look there's a rainbow I guess you can it kind of looks bent if you look at that crystal it looks like it's bent and maybe it did bend to grow I mean maybe it just went that way it's pretty interesting you never know what conditions they grow in. There's something included in there. Could be a piece of hematite. I don't know. Sure enough, something's growing in there. The room you could get lost in the house of mirrors <laughs> if you could see something was growing right there. Speaking of tabular, got this big boy. Gonna have to zoom back out. Look at this guy. He's huge. Look at that. This is the prettiest, clearest, tabular giant crystal that I've ever seen. Of course, it's darker here where it was growing out or to the side or wherever, but it is amazing. Look at that. Razor tip. And look, they call this like a church window. <laughs> a little window on the side that just pretty neat look at the growth I love this one you can see how big it is it's as big as my hand it's one of my favorites right now and this one is from the United States I know for sure because the gentleman I bought it from he finds his own crystals 
and I'm not sure what part of the United States he lives in, but he finds his own, and they are beautiful. And perfect little termination on the top. It's got iron staining on it. You can see the ground had lots of iron, but it is beautiful. It's a long, tall point. And I can lean it up against something and make it stand up, but it won't stand on its own. So I have to be careful and not let it plunk down. Here's another one from the same gentleman. And I got this one because when I was younger, my parents, I, I knew some people that gave me a, a beautiful quartz crystal. And this one kind of reminded me of it. I know it's not just like, look at the rainbows. Look at the rainbows. Such a pretty rainbow. That one doesn't look like it has any fractures inside, so. Look at there. It's doing it over there, too. Told you, looking under those microscopes. <laughs> you can look at that. It's just beautiful. It's just a big, massive crystal. And I love it. Thank you, Mr. Justice. That one stands quite well on its own. And then you have, I know everybody's seen smoky quartz, but here's one that intrigues me to no end because he turned it this way. Look, it's just smoky on the edges. And I don't, I think that's so amazing. It was starting to turn smoky and it just, just on the edges. Look at all those little growths in the middle. So preoccupied with all the smoky. I never noticed that in the middle. Look at that. All those little babies trying to grow on the inside. Look, one even crossed over made a little bridge. Wow. Never noticed that when I bought it. Until right now, looking at it with you. <laughs> wow. Oh, look, there's babies in the bottom, too. Beautiful. And then you have smoky quartz. And look at that. That one's got a rainbow up in the corner there, too. It's all smoky. It's some kind of mineral that joins when it's growing to give it smoky. I know with amethyst, the quartz grows and it's iron, but I'm not sure about the smoky. I think it has to do with heat in the ground. There's the bottom of it. I'm keeping it on close up because I might find something. See all the rainbows in this thing? But it's a beautiful piece. It looks like a castle. Looks like a little castle with all the babies all around it. Fortified castle on a hill. <laughs> Keeps you a kid at heart, that's for sure. Now here's another piece of smoky quartz. Now these are natural. They've not been heated or treated in any way. Except by the earth. As they were growing. Beautiful terminations on those. Look at all the babies all the way around. You can tell where it got plucked away from the wall and they cut them. And oh, look, you can even see the see the crystals. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. You can see them growing and all the other things that grew up with it. I make a big smoky. This is just a real pretty piece. Chonky. And the tip got broken off of that one, but that's a perfect little tip. Twins. It's got something growing in it. And then this big boy. 
I got him specifically because he had babies growing out the side and of course in shipping they all died but they had little babies growing on them and he double terminated this side and this side and you can see all the little tips on that there's more than four or five or six of them on there and then it gets a little A little dull and so I go look you can see right there it was either healing itself or something else was growing on the side of it at one point and look at that it's pretty and then there are things like this this guy It is a quartz crystal and it has been shaped or buffed out on all these corners now who's to say that it wasn't like that to begin with just not perfect and they went over it and they um, buffed it out to make it look perfect but it's been shaped by man it may have originally looked like that and then they just made it that way so it'd be glassy clear I don't know and then sits on my little light and as my light goes around it makes it different colors all pretty so you can do things like that with your crystals but I think I've showed everything I have here on the table I think I showed that one that's like a tabular piece but I love the way it grew on the outside those two little pieces I did this earlier and everybody was making too much noise in the kitchen so I had to start over so I forget what I've shown and what I haven't <laughs> there's another beautiful specimen there's a tabular crystal right there and then a regular one and I think you can see rainbows in this one maybe it's just a light behind me but they grew every which way too that one grew on the inside they're just wild and free growing in there <laughs> but those are my quartz crystals and I hope you enjoyed my name is Kathy with rocks fossils and minerals oh my oh here's one more this is a citrine now since it's been shaped I'm not sure whether this was a real citrine and then it was just shaped or if it was heat treated to get it darker like that I don't know but it's still pretty I really like the dark deep golden color and I do have another citrine somewhere in my house that's hiding from me look there's rainbows again from that fracture bing bang bong look at the rainbows everywhere today anyway my name is Kathy with rocks fossils and minerals am I thank you for joining again